beat of the heart. Blood is pumped to the rest of your body through your arteries. Blood pressure then is the force with which the blood pushes against the walls of the arteries. When the pressure exceeds the normal range, it is called high blood pressure or hypertension. It's pretty much, I would think, that out of 10 people I would see for the day, I'm pretty much sure at least are three um, of them are related to hypertension. Quero's experience is on par with the last survey of diabetes, hypertension, and chronic disease risk factors conducted in 2009 in Belize, which indicated a prevalence of hypertension of 28.7%. What's even more concerning? Well, according to PAHA WHO, in Latin America and the Caribbean, 80% of people with hypertension do not have good control, and uncontrolled blood pressure can lead to many serious complications. Our organs are supplied with, with blood, and when it's exposed to um, pressure within your blood vessels being too high, it will damage them eventually. Um, it can cause damage to the blood vessels themselves, um, either causing around rupture, around burst in the blood vessels, or it could cause the blood vessels to get excessively tightened and occlude, stops the blood flow. So those are the two things then that we would have with blood pressure issues. The way you have sustained high blood pressure, that is the one that will definitely cause trouble in the short or medium term. No? Um, it causes, of course, heart disease. It causes brain disease. It can cause strokes or heart attacks and cause kidney disease. Those are the three major organs that are impacted because of increased or elevated or high blood pressure. Um, we do have people who show a pattern that their blood pressure fluctuates and those are the ones who many times do not have many symptoms but eventually over the course of 20, 30 years they will then start to have trouble with, um, with their high blood pressure. And I didn't uh, mention just now but eye disease also is, is connected a lot to high blood pressure. There is no specific cause for hypertension, although there is a clear connection with your family history. There's also no cure. So the only way a hypertensive patient can prevent complications is proper control. No care how much amount of medication, how much fancy medication, how much expensive medication, how much combination of medication we use. If we don't eat the correct thing, okay, and if we don't exercise and try to get down to our weight as we should, then we the fool with self, okay? So you talk about healthy eating, avoiding salt, avoiding preservatives, eat more fruits and vegetables, the same thing that you hear of over and over, mm -hmm. and exercise, okay? So those are the two things that you first start with. And then you always try to use as least medication as possible or none, okay? And the selection of the medication many times is what is, is challenging. Um, even the best of physicians sometimes have trouble choosing the correct one. There are many guidelines to do that. Um, it keeps evolving. Every five years or so we get different guidelines or different recommendations of what to use, what not to use. Um, one of the things though is that um, People should be customized, so to speak. Mm -hmm. People are individuals, okay? So what is good for the goose may not be good for the gander, so to speak, no? Okay, what is good for X, many times is not good for Y. You can't go and borrow your comadre high blood pressure pills and think that one will be the best one for you. So it's best to consult with your caregiver so that they can choose. Get your blood pressure checked regularly. Also visit your doctor if you experience any of the following symptoms. There is generally a typical type of headache related to high blood pressure which is mainly the headache at the back of the head or a tightness so to speak as opposed uh -huh, at the back area okay, or the, the upper neck area. So the headache, the location of the headache, the description of the headache those are things that are important. Dizziness is another thing. Um, double vision, changes in vision, um, chest pains, shortness of breath, um, tingling in hands. Those are the more common um, blood pressure related symptoms. Cuellar warns that for some people there may be no symptoms, so regular blood pressure checks is advised, especially if you have a family history of the condition. Most importantly, in order to prevent or keep blood pressure under control, 
healthy living is the way to go. Eat healthy and exercise.